Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Studio Gen where we talk about artificial intelligence, technology and new tools that you can use. In today's video, I'm going to show you a free website that you can use without having to sign up and you can upload a picture of your drawing. This could be a drawing that your kids made or you made either on a piece of paper and you've taken a picture of it or a drawing that you made on a program like Photoshop or Microsoft Paint even. So this is the website. I've linked you to this in the description below, sketch.metademolab.com slash canvas. And all you have to do is upload a drawing of one character where the arms and legs don't overlap the body. You can see some examples here. You could also upload some sort of clip art that you found. Just make sure that the legs are separated. Then you're going to click upload photo. First, I'm going to show you an example of this image. And this is something that can be created on a program like Photoshop or Microsoft Paint even. Then you're going to click next. It's going to scan the image. Uh, they're going to ask you if you'd like to help their research, but you can just click disagree if you don't want to or agree if you do want to. Then you have to help them find the character. So they've identified the character and put a box around it. So if you've taken a picture of more than one character, then just make sure you isolate the character that you want to animate. You want the box to be quite tight fitting, but just make sure that you're not cutting anything off. Then click next going to scan the image again. So they've separated the character from the background and highlighted it. If the body parts of your character are not highlighted, you can use the pen and eraser tools to fix it. If it's missing something, let's say for example, it was missing a limb, you could draw the pen and make sure that it is showing. You can use these pens and eraser tools to adjust it if need be. And you can click this button to undo it or click reset mask. In my case, it did a great job. I don't need to make any changes. I'm going to click next. So now you have to find the character joints. Right here, you can see it says right eye that's placed correctly on the right eye, left eye, left ear. And to adjust it, just click and drag. Center of the head, you want these on the shoulders. Um, these are on the elbows. So just make sure it's quite centered. Also, it says if your character doesn't have any arms, drag the elbows and wrist joints far away from the character and it can still be animated. So now click next. So your animation is now ready and you can see there are all sorts of different animations that they're going to give you using your little drawing. And if there's an issue with your drawing and it didn't animate correctly, you can click fix and then just readjust the joints. Now, videos I have seen on this did not show you how to save this. They said you had to screenshot it, and that is not true. So just pick the animation you want, then click here on this button, then right click and click Save Video As. Then just give it a name and click Save, and it will save it as an MP4 file. So you can turn this into a GIF if you wanted. You could even use this in a little video if you wanted to create for your social media, if you wanted to animate your mascot. So now let's try to animate a picture that you drew or that your child drew. So I drew this picture on a piece of paper and took a picture of it. Now I'm going to click next and let's see if it's going to have difficulty animating it. Okay, so it did a pretty good job of finding the picture. Click next. So I have my arms glued to the side of this. So I don't know how it's going to look. One thing I could try to do is erase a very small line between my, oh yeah, something like that. I'm just drawing this little line up. So it's going to be able to have some movement. The legs are separated. That's good. Now I'll click next. Okay. The joints, that looks pretty good. I'm going to fix that on the eye. Okay. Now click next. So actually that worked really well. Look at him jumping around. So I recommend that when you do this, sometimes the website won't work if too many people are using it. So download all of the animations the way I showed you. There's dance ones, funny, jumping, walking. Again, just expand, right click, save video as, and then just give it a name. This one is the running jump, save. And go ahead and save all of your animations like that. And that way you can use them in your videos. 
The website was down a few times for me. So when I went through again, I selected that, yes, I'm agreeing that they can use my drawings in their research. And now the website's working. So this is just a really fun little tool that you can use to animate your drawings and you can incorporate this in your videos. You could even remove the background and add your own background in the video editing software and compile some of these little animations together. And there are quite a few of them, as you can see, to make your own little video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Studio Gen for more AI tools like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video.